Toxic workplaces, they could be a matter of life or death. If you think you work in one, you should know, the Surgeon General says, it may be as bad for your health as nicotine, alcohol, or even illegal drugs. Yeah, tonight Fox 13 health reporter Mandy Rock investigates how you should handle a toxic workplace, and she shares the story of a woman who says leaving her corporate job just may have saved her life. For me, the imperfectness of it is what's perfect to me. With the stroke of a paintbrush and dotting of a canvas, comes alive a new masterpiece born from Erica Dunlap's imagination. Art is really healing me, like I'm finding so much about myself. Behind every piece, a different story. Maybe this is a translation of my war paint. And a reflection of part of her life. This is me. This is all mine. The full-time artist and photographer spends most of her days here in the studio. But this wasn't always her reality. She spent 20 years working as an administrator in corporate fashion. Especially in the black community, we're taught by our ancestors and grandmothers that working a job is honorable and staying on a job is honorable. Well, they never tell you that during those 30 years, you may be mistreated, uh, you may have mental breaks, you don't have time with your family. At one point, Dunlap said her work environment was stressing her out so much, she had to take 10 months off to reset and see a therapist. As soon as I returned, my mother was sick and she passed away. And during that time, I experienced a lot of mishandling at work, um, mistreatment, even getting ridden up for taking care of my mother. It also took a toll on her physically. I always had sinus infections, ear infections, uh, respiratory infections, things like that. And I never realized how bad it was until I wasn't there. Dunlap is not alone. Nearly one out of five employees say their place of work is very or somewhat toxic, according to a poll by the American Psychological Association. Letitia Glasby Harris, a licensed professional counselor in Germantown, says a bad work environment can affect employees by making them feel demoralized and disengaged. It can cause a lot of stress, anxiety, uh, excessive worry, uh, which is also symptoms of anxiety. It can also start to play on your self-esteem. Signs that your workplace is toxic include poor communication, low enthusiasm from employees, and little room for growth. Glassby Harris says low employee morale can feed into a vicious cycle. But people need to realize when you're going to an interview in a job that you're not the one only being interviewed here. You need to do your research on that company to see if there is a reason why they have a big turnover. To see if there's a, what that person before you, your predecessor before you, why they're not in this position anymore. If quitting your job is not an option, Melissa Donahue, a clinical social worker in Memphis, says it's smart to have a conversation with a manager or someone in your HR department about what's bothering you. Coping strategies like exercising, eating well, and focusing on what you can control may also help to relieve stress. Using the, the, the little things like that um, during the, the time that you, you know, you're stuck in the car, so use it to your advantage. Turn on your favorite comedian and just get a good chuckle in and release some endorphins that make you happy. As for Dunlap, she quit her corporate office job back in February. It's given her more time to focus on what is truly important to her. I set the tone for my day and the freedom of that has been amazing. Her experience, a reminder that people are more than just their jobs speak up and if you have to make a change in your career the best time to do it is not to work, wait for the perfect opportunity is to create the perfect opportunity to leave mandy rock fox 13 news